plastic surgery, man not actually dead when they sign the death certificate? Despite these faux topics found in the National Enquirer, we're here to dispel the myth that organ donors may not actually be dead. So, we're here with Clarence Carter, head surgeon at the Mayo Clinic. Clarence, are people really blinking their eyes and wiggling their toes after they've been declared dead? No, we actually make sure that many organ donors go through many more tests than do normal patients. More testing? Does that mean more money? There's actually going to be no additional cost passed on to the family. Well, there you have it, folks. Myth busted! <laughs> Myth number two is that celebrities and other high-profile people have priority over others when it comes to organ donation. I'm really in need of a new heart. I was hoping my boyfriend Monteteo could get me on top of the waiting list. Oh. Lindsay, Lindsay! She's not talking to the press! Lindsay. Lindsay. Lindsay, what about the rumors that you need a new liver? I mean, can I do community service for that? God! Despite this popular belief, the truth is that celebrities, politicians, other famous people really have no more clout over regular citizens and they have to wait just like everybody else. Consider that another myth busted. All right, everyone, we're at it again. This time we're here to dispel the myth that you can't donate organs if you have a medical condition or you're too old. <sighs> Can I still donate my liver if I have asthma? I'm 80 years old. Can I still donate my organs? I have diabetes. Can I still donate my tissues? Good. Truth is, very few medical conditions or being under or over age can disqualify you from donating your organs. Even though some may not be suitable for transplant, others could be perfectly fine, and only qualified medical staff can really tell. So, there you have it. Another myth busted! busted.